Hey folks, how y'all doing today? I'm going to do an update on the Outback Power um, FNET, FNDC battery mon power monitor, or battery monitor, and let y'all see what it's all about. Okay, y'all, we got some real good windy conditions. Y'all can, can see in the background there. But I'm going to give you a little update what, that what this thing will do, the graphing abilities, and show you what kind of power you've been, been producing. We have been producing. All right, y'all. Y'all come on here, and I'll show you what's going on. Well, as I showed y'all in the past, and these things are rocking today. We got about 15, um, 10 to 15 to 20 mile an hour gusts. I think last night we had like a 22 mile an hour gust. Uh, it's pretty good winds all day. I mean. Um, good winds, really good winds. You got some dirty winds, you got some, um, but my, overall it's been fairly good winds. Steadily, steadily out of the north, due north, nor northwest. Yeah, they are rocking. Like I said, these are high energy, 1,000 watt each at 24 volt. That's the old style with the uh, old style blades, high energy. And these are the hot new style blade, high energy. This is my newest one right here. And they are doing really good. The solar is doing really good. Uh, the wind power is doing really good. This is an ultimate day. And like I said, in the colder temperatures, they are just booming. And these wind turbines aren't loud at all. I mean, I'll get right up on them and show, show them to y'all. Trying to make monotonous, you know, like the same thing over and over again, but I think it looks like it's, it's sitting still, but it's actually going to town. That's new style high energy right there. Oh, let me see here. And they aren't loud at all, like I said. Alright, so anyway, we're just going along. Excuse me. It's like 20, I think 29 degrees wind chill out here right now. That's bad. The sun's right in y'all's eyes. Sorry about that. Oh, well, we can't do much on that. You know you got good winds. All right, let's go inside. So, so we we been producing. But here's another up place. Today is November the 24th. Let's see here. It's 
one at one o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and it is on a Sunday. Yep, the day is eleven to eleven twenty-four, November twenty-fourth, two thousand thirteen. The sun is doing great, as y'all can see. We got plenty of sunlight hitting the solar panels. Let me see if I can do this without getting too high. Up in the air, that is. They are rocking. Getting plenty of sunlight. You see, the wind just stopped. So your solar solar panels are still kicking out the power. You see them monocrystalline panels doing their thing. Up close. See all the little colors on the panels? I mean, see them lighting up, sun hitting them, and making power. These cold days like this, they really produce a lot of power. It's, it's, solar panels produce a lot of power on colder days than they will on warm days. Just don't have enough sunlight. All right, hope the camera doesn't fog up because it's kind of warm in here. All right, there's the lights on. All right, here we go. This is what we've been producing today. Old Bogart Trimetric. We're at right at right at close to. Uh, 1550 watts and this is the FlexNet or FNDC FN-DC I installed and it gives you the LED indicator lights which your batteries are doing yeah get you up close there alright the winds have been, and here's the conditions outside. That last gust of wind was 15 mile an hour, 28 degree wind chill, 33.2 outside, and that's conditions. All right, let's see if I can get this set up right. Now let's see what's going on here. All right. Okay, here we go. I'm getting my book out of the way here. All right. Okay. All right, here we go. FNDC. I'm going to press this. Well, here we're going to invert. Good to graph. That's what we've been producing. That's what we produced today. Overall solar and that kind of stuff. Hope that's clear enough for y'all. Yep. And that's gr graphing everything out. Next, that's charging from AC power. Buying, we didn't buy electricity to charge the batteries. And that's selling. What we've been selling, or going back into the house, that is. And that's the battery. The battery's been doing battery bank. And we'll go back and tell them what we're selling or inverting. Also, batteries, AC in and out, charger, load, all that good stuff. But yeah, overall, man, she is rocking. All right. Um, hope that makes sense. All right, let's go back. There's a main screen. Okay, now we're going to the FNDC. Tells you what kind of power we're producing right now. Hope y'all can see that pretty good. 1,540 watts at 229 amp hours 
or 6,260 kilowatt hours so far, or 6,260 watt hours. Um, in, that's in, out. Uh, and that says battery, minimum state of charge, maximum state of charge. All right. Next, battery status. Um, does you a little bit of everything there. You can see that pretty good. Hope so. Let's go a little edge over here a little bit. I'm going on the edge. Mm -hmm. All right. Straighten this camera up. All right. Okay. Now, go do shunts. Right now, we'll put up 540 watts on A, shunt A, that's my solar. And, uh oh, there we go. Shunt B, the wind just picked up. You see it doing its thing. Yeah, I see the power being produced from the wind turbines. Shunt B is wind turbines. And that was about nine, seven to nine mile an hour wind. All right, let's go to Shump B. Shump B, historical data. We had a 20, our wind max speed at 3.06 a.m. this morning was a 22 mile an hour wind. And our peak watts are 32. 32.7 amps at 1,010 watts that we produce our SRP. Now we'll go next to see what we did on solar today so far. Let's see, I don't have C hooked up. A. Today we produce 83 amps at 2,310 watts. So I'm maxed out today. That's pretty cool. My solar array. So that means my solar array is putting up full potential of what it says it's what it's rated at. Alright, and it says max charge this rate uh, um max discharge rate, nine point dash nine point eight amps. That is when then div diversion load probably kicked in. Um overnight to get rid of some of the power because we had too much power in the battery banks. Alright. I'm going to go back. I'm going to get into the graph. Whoa. Battery. Oh. That's just showing. Uh, let's go back. Next. Graph. Okay, that's better. <laughs> Next, all right, and you got a man of his own. Next, that's the battery, what the battery's been doing. State of, minimum state of charge. I mean, state of charge, 100%. Next, shunt A, and that shows you what kind of power we've been producing today. That's pretty cool when it graphs everything, I like that. And that is shunt B, that's the wind. Now that is rocking. Isn't that cool, y'all? Now let me see. Hope that's clear. Oh, sorry about that, y'all. Uh, yeah, that's probably, yeah, that's good. That's, that's not bad at all. And over there in the top left hand corner is the watts. So that, that'll, when the wind picks up here in a second. It's probably will, but that's the reason we got why we got we got data logger. <laughs> so you're gonna have to sit here and wait to see what you've been doing. But that's pretty cool. And over and it says 85 watts, five watts, 85 watts. Just giving you uh, kind of what you've been doing. But my main thing is getting my peak watts. Is seeing what my wind turbines will produce in a high wind. And I'm gonna go back battery. We're at 27.3 volts right now. This is a 24 volt system. Back. Back. Okay. We'll go. So that's what we're producing right now. So, anyway, y'all.
I just want to give you all a little update. What is going on with the system? And this is an Outback Mate 3. Um, <clears throat> Outback Mate 3. And it's a nice system, y'all. Love it. L love it. And you have an SD card in the side that collects all your data for you. And this is, like I said, this is an update. And this is the FD FNDC. And um, these black and white wires are right here are going to the battery bank. This orange and white wire are going to shunt B, which is going to my wind turbine um, control panel with the shunt and everything inside here. And my red and red and white wire right here, red and white, excuse me, green and white are going inside here for my solar and charge controllers inside my DC disconnect box and this is what we're producing in the FM80 charge controllers this is 1610 watts a solar array and this is a 700 watt solar array right now Oops. and this is producing 430 watts right now of power so want to show y'all what's going on okay y'all um i'm gonna cut this video it's a long video but i hope y'all enjoyed take these old glasses off yep uh but anyway thank y'all for watching and uh just a little update of everything that's going on and uh just want to show you what what this thing can produce and thank you a lot Outback Power uh, Tech Support for giving me a hand with all this stuff. Because it definitely is good to have somebody can give a call or two. And they're open from, I think, from 5 or either 6 a.m. Um, to about 5 o'clock uh, Central Standard, I mean, excuse me, uh, Pacific Standard Time. Okay, y'all. Well, y'all have a great one. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. This is Kenneth W. Vire Jr. And thank y'all for subscribing and come on back, y'all. Okay, thank you very much and have a great day. All right, bye-bye. Some more wind. All right, y'all take it easy. All right.